with the holidays also upon us and with cookie decorating on its way, I want to show you how to make do-it-yourself edible glitter. So let's get started. Well, good day, everybody. Today, I want to teach you how to make your very own edible glitter. No more going out to the stores and paying a lot of money for something as this here. I'm going to show you how you can make your very own. So, let's get started. What you're going to be needing is one of these uh, silicone uh, baking sheets. You cannot, and I want to stress this, you cannot use the parchment paper or uh, wax paper or any other type of paper whatsoever you have to use a silicone baking mat so with that being said what you're going to be needing to do is we need to add three tablespoons of water and you want to get a pretty large open surface container the larger the open surface the better this is going to work you don't want to use a small little bowl or anything so let's go ahead and put three tablespoons of water in Okay, and now the next ingredient you're going to be needing is some Knox gelatin. You're going to be needing one packet. Go ahead, open that up, and now you're going to want to Evenly sprinkle this over the top of the surface of the water. Do not dump. You'll just get a solid clump. You want to sprinkle this. I'm going to continue to do this until my packet is empty. Okay, I have all my Nax gelatin here all sprinkled in. Do not mix. Again, I cannot stress. Do not mix. Now you're going to want to take this over to your microwave and put it in there for 10 seconds. Okay, I put mine in for 20 seconds. You do not want to go any further or past 30 seconds. If you go past 30 seconds, it's rendered useless to us at that point. So, no more than 30 seconds in the microwave, folks. Okay, now would be the time that you would add your coloring. And I'm using the gel type. Of course, I had to grab one that I haven't opened yet, but that's because I used it all up last year. I'll be right back. Okay, of course, I had to pick the color that looks like blood, so this is going to look great when I go to the farmer's market. Make sure you wash your hands very good afterwards. 
but go ahead. I like to put in a good dollop. And then with that same toothpick that I grabbed my coloring out with, go ahead and mix it all into the gelatin. So as soon as I get this all mixed in, take you to the next step. Okay, now what we would do is go ahead and pour it on your no baking sheet and put it in a kind of thin layer and spread it out. I use a what you would use for decorating a cakes with your frosting. I have a massive brain fart going right now. Otherwise I'd tell you what it's called, but I can't think of it. So go ahead. Don't spread this too thin either. Okay, now the hardest part. You're going to have to wait 6 to 10 hours for this to harden. And that will be our next step. So I'll see you then. Okay. We're back. And since we showed you the first part of how we made the edible glitter and uh, this part of our video... We had an electrical fire here, folks, so bear with me. A lot of my lighting and stuff has gone. That's dust in the wind, but that's another video. What I was showing you how to do in our other video was how to make the edible glitter. Well, it finally all dried out. We now have... Uh, a sheet of edible glitter. What you're going to want to do is go ahead, grab your coffee grinder. Mine comes apart, which I'm grateful for. And take that little part that we broke off and you're going to want to tear all these into little bitty parts. And make sure no water or anything touches them because any water that touches it, it's going to go back into that gelatin. So just continue to break all these. I'm going to do the same and when I get them all broken in here, we'll take you on to the next step. Okay, I got them all in here and now it's time for us to grind it up. Uh, let's put it over on that setting first. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see it in there. But it's coming along really nice. Let's just continue. <laughs> Shh, baby girl. Now you can make this as coarse or as See now, like that's a bigger piece. I would take that piece out. You decide on how small or how large you want your glitter to be. This a few more. 
and then I'm gonna pour it in a little container and we're gonna show you the rest okay let me go ahead and pour this into a container and I'm hoping that you're gonna be able to see how beautiful a glitter that makes but it does take my word for it folks you won't be sad or sorry that you made your own homemade glitter I mean this lighting just doesn't do it justice but trust me it really sparkles I put it on on a paper plate hoping that this is going to give you a better view I'm hoping that the camera is picking up all the nice sparkle and shine I think it sparkles better than the stuff that I went out and bought and as you see it doesn't sparkle nearly as much the store bought and stuff does not sparkle nearly as much as my homemade version. The homemade version has more glitz and glam to it.